is going to show the last of our stay in Martha's Vineyard interview with a career couple and who are live aboard on their boat in the winter, our return to Boston in a very foggy morning, and then some scenes from the Boston Common during the Black Lives Matter movement. So hi guys. Hi. Hello. I'm glad you came over for uh, lunch Thank on July 4th, 4th yes. of July lunch. Happy 4th of July. Tell us what it's what is it like to live aboard in Boston in the winter? <laughs> well, you want to get that one? I so for the most part I think it's not that different from living in Boston in the winter in general. Um, it's you know it's cold outside, and that's true whether you're in a house or whether you're in a boat. Um, I think I think the only time where I really kind of questioned our life decisions was that one winter I guess it was two winters ago where we had this crazy cold snap that wouldn't go away and there were you know maybe a couple inches of ice chunks like floating around in the harbor and the water supply the city water supply to our boat froze at the at the pedestal and then we also were having some electrical issues so we didn't have electricity we didn't have running water we couldn't even it was so cold we couldn't even use the use a hose to fill up our water tanks because by the time the water got from the pedestal to the tanks the it hose had freeze. completely frozen up yeah, that's uh, but that only happened for two that, days. Only, that was only for two days and it was only for a span of like a couple weeks it was really really awful so aside from that one time i think it's yeah. i think it's the rest as of the time, sucky as living in boston and, and so. how do you okay. heat your boat yeah so we have a diesel heater uh, that's one of the first changes we made to the boat because of um, living in Boston. Boston from what we heard from people so we have a hydronic system and instead of using air we basically heat water with a boiler and it goes all throughout the boat it's perfect it's actually even better than when we were in a house in Boston yeah it's very cozy and how did you learn so much about boats because Yvonne you know how to fix tons of stuff on boats I uh, just reading. YouTube. Uh, reading. He's then seen all you of YouTube. Honestly, books is more. I, um, I I always like fixing things. Anyway, I used to do a lot of woodworking projects before I got into the boats. I used to fix my motorcycle. I would just be me very mechanically oriented. The, my only uh, failing topic was the, ele the electric stuff. And when I got and, to the boat, and now he has exactly. Yes. Now, <laughs> uh, fear. Your knowledge is just is just amazing. It's just unbelievable. So once you get a boat, I think the learning experience, and that's one one of the reasons for us to move aboard without cruising first was to move into the boat, stay live aboard, and learn about maintaining your boat. Mm. Learn about yeah. fixing almost constantly.
on the roller just as it got rolled. So the line's now secured there. And the fog is thick as we come up towards Woodfall. The Woods Hole Passage is a naturally occurring, rocky and treacherous patch passage with shallow rocky areas and the current is often strong, running um, as much as 7 knots, but mostly flowing around 4 knots. We timed the passage near slack current. We were taking this passage from Vineyard Sound into Buzzards Bay and then off towards the Cape Cod Canal as we head towards Boston. <laughs>
I'm just taking uh, some of the slack off the bottom to tension the lava bit. See, there are a couple of wrinkles in the way up. Love seeing Pierre's repairs, or all of the above, and we do appreciate comments, so let us know what you think. I want to close my eyes and go back.